So you want an access point and you want the best access point for your money. Well today we'll look at the Ingenious ECW230S. It's a business class cloud access point and we will look at the features and software to see if it fits right for your situation. So for full disclosure, Ingenious sent me this access point. Uh, they did not pay me for this review. Uh, they did not see the video before production. If you're interested in learning more about this access point, please check out the affiliate links in the description below. So let's break down the design first. The Ingenious ECW230S is designed for enterprise, but it works perfectly for home use. The size of the 230S at 8 inches is somewhere between the bulbous TP-Link EAP620 at 9 inches. I reviewed that last year and the Aruba Instanon AP22, which is only 6 inches. The depth of the Ingenious ECW230S without the mounting equipment is about 1 inch and is more flat than most access points. How the Ingenious 230S can have such a small height is the metal bottom of the AP, which has built-in fins. The fins help dissipate heat and on the inside it has thermal pads on the chips that then transfer the heat from the chips to the metal backing. This prevents it from overheating in such a thin package without a fan. The back does get warm, but the mounting brackets provide an air gap between any surfaces. What the Ingenious has that is less common but is starting to be more available is a 2.5 giga gigabit Ethernet port which theoretically can help you double the bandwidth that your devices can use over standard gigabit ethernet, which is important for Wi-Fi 6 if you have a large amount of devices using a lot of bandwidth. There's also a 12 volt port where you can plug in power uh, if you don't use PoE, and it also has a manual reset switch just in case. The large cavity where the ethernet cable goes in is a little inconvenient when mounting, I like access points that have cutouts to help route cables. This is just a personal preference. The final feature is a Kensington lock hole. I've never noticed one of these on an access point before. If you know why they put one on uh, the access point, let me know in the comments below. For mounting, you can directly attach the access point to the wall or ceiling with screws which are provided or you can attach to a drop ceiling with the provided ceiling rail attachments. They provide a pair of two due to they are not adjustable. So there is one for ceilings with small rails and one for ceilings with large rails. I found them fiddly to get installed because they are not adjustable. And then you have to slide the access point on, which again was more difficult than it needed to be because there's no access on the side for the cable to go through, but hopefully you only do it once. Hopefully Ingenious will come up with a better design in their future iterations of this. On the front are the LED indicator lights that you can turn on and off through the software. From left to light, right, we have the power, LAN, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz LEDs. Those LEDs you can turn on or off in the software. The ECW230S supports dual concurrent 802.11 AX architecture and has a 4x4 antenna. The ECW230S also features beamforming to target the correct device so that there is less interference which will offer better throughput. The access point can be added to a mesh network. The access points don't have to be identical but they must be compatible in the ingenious ecosystem. For software, the access point, which is a cloud-based access point, still comes with some basic local software. You can find it by accessing the switch after finding its IP address and then log in with the username and password of admin admin. But it's really best designed to be used with the cloud management app. For cloud management, log in to cloudingenious.ai, click on inventory, which will display a list of any adopted devices and from the right corner on the right, click on register device. You can use the mobile application, scan the QR code from the bottom of the wireless access point, or as I did, simply insert the serial number and the AP should immediately appear in the list. The cloud platform is designed to manage multiple access points, so you can apply the same configuration to any new access points. 
Now if we look at the price, we can see it has an enterprise price, but the durable construction will last many years. Ingenius also offers the EWS 377AP, which seems to have the same hardware and most of the software features, but in a plastic body as a cost-effective alternative for the price conscience. To round things up, the Ingenius ECW230S is a great enterprise access point that is designed to be part of a cloud network of devices at multiple locations and is built to last at a price. That's it. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.